What is up, everybody? We're picking up where we left off last time. That's right, B does everything on this. Awesome. We are... That's, that's Ice Cave, which is where we need to go technically, but... We're not going to yet. We're going to do some leveling, because we can. Because we can, and we will, and we won't stop. If I remember correctly, that little gate's where you come out of uh, Freya's hometown area, right? The rat area? I can't remember. Ah, we got some moose. Defend, defend, steal, attack. Did I steal anything? Let's see if I did or not. Attack. Attack. Steal. Couldn't steal anything. Hmm. Oh shit, but use stone. Let's see what they carry, shall we? Summon. Nothing. Carries potion. Okay. That'll work. The goal is to just steal anything we can. Hey, hey, she hit level two. We got an echo screen. An echo scream. Hey, hey, there we go. Wild encounter. We gotta get some levels on these guys. Oh no, we got back attacked by goblins. Goblin Punch! Oh, never mind. Fire! Vivi in his cool pants. goblin card out of that. That was nice. Ambushed out of the woods! Get on, boys! Ooh. Steal from the python. What do we get? High potion. Hell yeah. Good. Oh shit, weak to fire looks like. Still a potion. So I got a high potion and a potion. I love that Steiner doesn't even look at the enemy. Like none of them, they just look straight ahead. There you go, Veeves. Say she leveled up. Mm, what abilities does she have? Nothing right now. 
I mean, I think I can equip to her. Cure, Panacea, and Protect. Well, their hat gives her some defense. Let's do that. Silk Shirt gives her Cure. All right, we'll go with that for now. Drop a potion on her. I think Vivi's okay for right now. <coughs> hey, hey, we get some more potions off these goblins. Whoosh! Couldn't steal anything, you mother effer. He did, which means Steiner's probably about to kill that one off. Let's see, though. You knifed me for 18? You mother... <clears throat> eh, we got an Echo screen off of him. Okay. Do 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 so there's the forest. Aha, some more moves. Wow, get him back, Veeves. Carries potion, that's it. Yeah, you do your heart aid. Uh, I have no idea what were you gonna ask. Try asking it now and see if it pops up again. But you should be able to ask anything. Unless it's, like, highly racist. I think that might, you know, if you're dropping, like, the N-word, it'll try to block it. Do, do, do. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a mixed bag this time, eh? All right. Use Cure on Vivi for me. You attack Goblin. I'm gonna steal from Python. Wow, 416, that was insane. Black Magic on Python after. Solo Potion. He's using Thunder, oh shit, run, run, run! Not really. Ask the POV is always like that in Final Fantasy fights. I've never played any of the games, and it seems flipped from all the other games I've played. Um, so the camera angle changes in, in nine a lot. It'll. They used to do that a lot in the uh, old games, like the originals. Like, uh, well, I should say, seven through ten did it, where it would show from behind you, and then you go from behind them, and the camera angle would kind of move just to keep it feeling more. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's just, it just does it anytime you're about to chat. But, uh, yeah, they, um... Like, if I let it sit here, it'll start doing it a lot more. That'll probably take both of them out. Nope. That was a shock. That will. She's at four. She's catching up. Good. 
Not that it matters. Can't remember what the other, what all these directions go to. Go ahead and take him out. Man, she's healing like a beast already. That's scary. There we go. They're done. How have you been, Pika? Hey, he mastered Protect Girls. Good for him. What does that come off of? Leather shirt. Yeah, that's all he's got right now. Oh, this is the gate. What's up, Taz? Who's out there? Tell them we don't want any of their government candy. Still a potion. Okay, sounds like a productive night. I can't complain, I'm doing fairly well. Week went by pretty quickly. Okay, let's see here. If I can remember what voice I gave her. Where are we? I think this is the North Gate. It's beneath the mist. It lies between Alexandria and Bermesia? I think it's called Melda Ark or something. Fresh footprints. And there's smoke rising. That flag! That is Alexandria's war banner! How dare they commit crimes in the name of Alexandria! I should like to arrest and punish them if the circumstances were different. Let's get out of here. The cavern lies to the left of this arch. We'll follow the ledge. Mm -hmm. So if we want to loot these boxes, that's why we came here. I drops and potion. Did we get anything else from around here? I can't recall. Listen close. I can hear people and something that sounds like metal grinding. Call out someone inside. Anybody there? Eye drops cure your blindness. Y yes. Th that voice. It's a chick! <laughs> what a sexy, husky voice. What are you doing in a place like this? I sell medicine. Wow, it must be tough. If you'd like, I can help. Wait a minute. I'm with Princess Garnett. That's too bad. Buy some medicine from her. Do you mind selling me some of your medicine? Sure. How many potions do you want? Oh, I don't know. Let's go with, like, ten. Uh, what causes blindness? Uh, a lot of different things can cause blindness in the game. 
It's kind of a special ability certain creatures get. Like that, uh, not that viper, but there was a creature in the woods that did it pretty easily. Plant creatures have a tendency to do it a lot. Take that one out. You work on the center. He's gonna black magic all of them. And I'm gonna steal from the one that we haven't hit. Stella Potion. That one's gone. Not quite. Now it will be. Ta-da! Killing all these damn snakes. Get these motherfucking snakes off my motherfucking planes. Get it? Because I'm walking around a giant plane. See? Big ol' empty plane. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Clever pun, right? Do do do. It wasn't that. It was. It was bad. It was a bad pun. I know. Boom. Oh come on, Steiner! You gotta be better than that. Playing this game in my teens for a dad. Okay, okay, we'll take we'll take the jet dad joke status of it. Can I help you, Koopa? Save. Uh. Yeah, we want that one. Data saved. Get out of here, Koopo. What am I? Potion. 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 Why not? Okay, nothing in there. We can go ahead and go in here now. Ice cavern. This must be the cavern. I feel like it needs to be more cheeky. We'll get there as time goes on. Uh, um. What's up, Vivi? Have you ever heard of the Ice Cavern? Sure. Is this the place? I think so. It's supposed to be near Evil Forest. Yeah, they're long games, the Final Fantasy series. You've got to really get into them. I've heard of it. It's supposed to be a beautiful place covered in ice. My grandpa told me about this place. He said that cavern takes travelers to the top of the mist. Bravo, Master Vivi's grandfather must be quite a scholar. Wow, the punctuation on that, sorry, should have been Bravo! Master Vivi's grandfather must have been quite a scholar. We must thank him upon escaping the mist. My grandpa used to teach me lots of things, but he passed away. Oh! Forgive my indiscretion. Don't worry about it. Well, why don't we go inside? Ice cavern. Because that isn't dark and ominous at all. It's just a cavern of ice, everybody. 
Oh, what a beautiful place. Seeing the actual cavern is so much better than reading about it. Oh, how pretty. I wonder what kind of flower this is. It's really hard to do a girl's voice when you've got testicles. Princess, please don't touch anything. Can we get moving? I'm freezing here. Not quite. Yeah. Received a tent. Oh, shit, look at these big weird things. They're just legs and face. Fourteen. Miss, you bitch, Steiner. Stole a potion and heat. Okay, Vivi, you're up, buddy. Blizzard? Oh, shit. We're gonna cast some fire on that one. Steiner's gonna go ahead and finish him up just in case. I'm gonna use Detect to see what else they've got. Fire does the, does the trick there. Carries Phoenix down, carries tents. Okay, Phoenix down to tent. We can make that happen. Are they called a weird? Yeah, weird with a Y. That's some fucking D&D &D stuff right there. You run into a raging pack, a ra a, a, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> rampaging pack of weird. What? Yeah. That's what they're called. Hey, finished flee and detect. Good for him. All right. Cider needs some potions. We gotta do a random fight for standing there? What the hell? Oh well. We'll take it. It's more weird. And then apparently this creature screams, the wind lays out my path. Get out of my way. Some damage, nice. I might get one more steal out of one of these guys. Yep. Really? Okay. Maybe this time I should move. Run outside real fast. Get this little mofo back. Can I help you, Koopo? Yeah, let's rest with the tent. Great. Now let's save. Data saved. Get out of here. Call me again anytime, Koopa! All right, here we go. Ah, oh, I still got stuck. 
What do we got this time? Just one weird, okay. They are rather weird. Looks like Zidane's going first. Let's go ahead and hit a steal. Solar Phoenix down. Let's do an attack, an attack. And a normal attack. Let's do one more steal, see what we can get. Oh no, he's going for the blizzard. Okay, okay, not bad. Solar Potion. Steiner hits him hard. There we go. We're good. Huh? What's this? What a strange wall. There's gotta be something behind it. Hey, Vivi! Yes? Can you break this wall down with your magic? I... I'm coming. Poor guy. Whoa! I knew it, see? There might be other walls like this. I'm counting on you, Vivi. Sh sure. Ether. Ah, yes, the ether. Wait, is there anything? Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Oh, what are these guys? Cave him. They use rusty knives. Still a potion off of one of them. Damn. Just go ahead and attack it. I think they can steal from me too, though. Sleeping juice. Oh, you bastard. Are they gonna knock people out or something because they're cave imps? What made you think of that? You kinda called it right before it happened there. Got another flan card, nice. Still asleep? No, he's good. Oh, someone grabbed Ether. Now Ether restores your your mana points in this game. It's another weird. The wind lays out my path. Now nah, let's save it. Get out of my way. Still a potion. Uh-oh. Oh, no! He's gonna freeze me! Always picking on the girl. Mm-mm-mm. Stole a tents. Oh, hell yeah, we need some tents. Aha! I see. That cave imp did exactly what you like. You, you almost, you almost called it entirely. Ether's like crack in the in the world of Final Fantasy. Received a potion. All right, into the next room we go.
Ah! Yeah. Maybe it's like a quick rest. That's what they think. I don't know. I've never understood why games do that. HP switching. I don't like that. I don't even know what the hell that does. Sticky fingers. Hey, I got an achievement for stealing 50 things. Just stole one more. Damn it. I went too quick. Oh well. That didn't kill him? Jeez, this guy's taking a beating. Oh, it was the HP switching, I bet. Yep. That's what he's doing. So what he's doing is he's switching his active HP with my character's active HP when it hits. So I had him down to 20 and then he took 200 from me. Shit, Ether sounds like a good time. which I'm going to have to use. That is nasty. Although it'd be a sweet ass move to use in a D&D &D game. Whoa! <laughs> like if you gave that to a D&D &D villain, that'd be pretty badass to sit there and just... Like, hey, uh, yeah, we're gonna swap HP now. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Huh? What's this? It's another frozen wall, you know that. Whoa! I'm not doing very good woes for Zidane here. Ah, okay, so it's a dangerous as shit anesthetic. Ta da! I knew I got too close. Very true. Alright, we need to take these guys out fast then. He just did it. Damn it. Still a 10. Hell yeah. Okay, touche. Touche. Miss, I was going to be an anesthesiologist. I feel like you could only make that like a legendary action though. HP swapping with the with the character. It would require like a constitution roll or something. It's got great occasions to be used. down. I need to go that way. Huh? What's this? You know what it is. Congratulations, you opened up another section to the map. And found Leather Wrist. Ooh, I wonder what that does. Let's see. Beast Killer! Hell yeah, we're gonna equip that. Makes me wonder, though. 
can't learn anything from it, but we'll put it on her. He got normal wrist on, and he's got nothing. He's got bird killer done, bug killer almost, beast killer almost. Oh yeah, definitely. I think it's like you would have to... Let's see what Panacea does real fast. I want to know what it does. Moves venom and poison. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, someone left their bondage gear. There's a lot of bondage gear in the ice cave. Hell yeah, flan time. I forgot these guys were in here. Let's see what we can steal off of them. Head attack, see? Look, everything's sexual in Final Fantasy. Leather wrist, head attack. Although I feel like if you're using head to attack, that just seems like you're doing it all wrong. Yep, it is a cursed custard, you Pathfinder player. And Steiner just went Super Saiyan on me. Super Saiyan Steiner. In case that doesn't kill him, let's steal. <clears throat> Nobody likes a little teeth in their BJs. Who's been lying to you? Come on, go away. Oh, shh. I think I need to go this way. Huh? What's this? You bastards! Oh, I can move again. Thanks, Koopo! Active time event. Teach me, Mogster, lesson two. Okay, homie had some issues then. Hey, bro, what are you gonna teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. I'm going to give you another interesting lecture today on elemental properties. There are lots of element. There are a total of eight elemental properties: fire, ice, thunder, earth, water, wind, holy, and shadow. Applying these elemental properties to your attacks and defense makes battles a lot easier. But your enemies can take advantage of them as well, so watch out. To apply them, you have to understand their natures. Elemental properties. Fire, effective against ice and undead monsters. Ice, effective against insects, large enemies, and fire and dragon type monsters. Thunder, effective against enemies near water. Earth, ineffective against flying monsters. Water, effective against fire monsters. Wind, effective against flying monsters. What? Holy, effective against shadow monsters. And shadow, effective against 
You guessed it. Holy monsters. There's also a non-elemental property, which is not affected by any elemental property. Did all of that sink in? It's easy once you get the hang of it. Yeah, I already know all this. I don't need to... Cancel. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. Magnet? Hey, you gotta deliver a letter to Gumo for me, Koopo. Sure. Thanks, Koopo. I lost his voice in that one transaction. <laughs> Yep, pretty much. Well, it's not even an eight-way rock, paper, scissors, because it's just everything has a counter to what it's, you know, but not everything hurts something else entirely. It's weird. What am I looking like for health? Uh, we can potion, potions, and we're okay. Oh, wait. I wonder... Nope, he still needs to do Beast Killer. Oh, shit. Rubber Helm takes him down on magic defense, but I want to get Minus Strike in there, so let's do it. I can't remember. Is there anything hidden in here? Nope, there's not. All right, we just... Saved. Now we go back this way. Rubber Helm says, yeah, it is. It's <laughs> Vivi, hurry up or you'll be left behind. I, I'm coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Master Vivi, are you okay? Oh. Yo, Rusty. You're not all right, are you? What happened to you guys? Hey, Rusty, move it or lose it. Get up. It's no use. Oh no, Garnett, not you too. Garnett, she's out cold. Shoot, I'm falling asleep. Oh yeah, they'll be pissed when they come back. What's that sound? It came from over there. Is somebody there? Wake up your team, motherfucker. Ah, eh, we're close enough. Looks like a frozen wall there. Didn't you fall asleep? You should be dead by now. Are you the one causing this blizzard? <laughs> That's right. That's the guy that left his gimp gear. That's why he's pissed at me trying to make us all go to sleep. Ice giant sea lion, come before me! Uh, what? Go, sea lion! Wing. 
Let's steal. Stole a mithril dagger. Fuck yeah. First try. That's what we needed. Now we're in trance. I'm going to attack Black Waltz 1. Damn, you guys are getting a lot of attacks in real quick. Hundred and thirty two damage, huh? Oh, I need that. That's what I was messing up on. Kill him for me. How about no? That hurt. Free energy! Quick! Ha ha! 396 damage. But I'm hurting. My hairy little self. Yeah, Sedane's a furry, by the way. You defeated number one, but number two and three will reclaim the princess. H who's there? Oh, well, whatever. I've got to go back and check on them. <clears throat> Did a completely wrong voice for those two. Zidane! I still can't do a girl voice. I gotta figure that one out. Hey there, everybody okay? You, what just happened? It was no big deal. You're hiding something. Hey, nothing happened. You heard me. You didn't touch the princess, did you? Just what are you accusing me of? Steiner, he said nothing happened. Why are you being so rude? My apologies, princess. Well, I'm glad everyone is safe. Shall we move on? Zidane, is something bothering you? No, it's nothing. Liar. Liar, liar. Pants. Of fire. Now, what does the mithril dagger do? He just be bandit. All right. What does bandit do? Let's figure that out. Raise the success rate of steel. Uh, hell yeah. Go ahead and put Beast Killer on too for right now. Why can't I? There we go. Nothing to equip here. And let's check Garnet real fast. Equip. Nothing to equip. Yep, yep. I mean, I knew it had something to do with theft, but I just couldn't remember what it had to do with theft. But it's highly important in this game because all the bosses have the cool shit. Do a quick save after beating that boss. Although I can't remember if he comes back or not. Gotta take a quick break. Be right back.
All right, we're coming right back, see? Doing a race. No. Let's go. Well, let's make sure we saved. We did, right? Whoop. Run, run, run. Top down here. Check that wall. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Keep going then. Do, 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 do. Hmm. All right. Water does nothing. It's just there now. Ah, we're getting attacked! But what by? There we go. Flan! Hmm. Oh, it took all three out. Hell yeah. Yay, we got some more levels and some items. We'll always take items. Can't go that way. And we're out of this mofo. Look at that. We made it through the mist. Oh, the sun feels great. Look, there's a village. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. I think I've been there before. It sounds like you've been everywhere, Zidane. The only other worlds I visit are in books. You may have been to that village. Let's go visit. Wait! Hold it. You're a princess. You can't just go rushing in there. People are looking for you. You need a new identity. Insolent fool! The princess need not sneak around! Besides, we're heading back to the castle. You leave her alone. And you will address her as princess from now on, you silly peasant. Damn it, Rusty. Why don't you just shut up? Who do you think you are? I don't take orders from a stuck-up jerk like you. Uh, you guys. Stop it, you two. Steiner, I do not intend to return to the castle. And I do see Zidane's point. I need a new name. Zidane, what is this called? That? That's a dagger. All knives of that length are called daggers. Not true. <laughs> Short swords are a bit longer. The big sword you hold with both hands is called a broadsword, and... Oh, okay. I understand now. So this is called a dagger. <laughs> Princess, it's a weapon! Please be careful! What's going on, Hermes? Welcome in, man. How are you doing? I've decided. From now on, my name is... <clears throat> yes. Yes. She changes her name to Dagger. Oh, Lord. And we're going to keep it because it's canon. I will be called Dagger from now on. What do you think, Zidane? Is that okay with you? Dude, yeah, when she cuts the hair, man, that drove me nuts in my first place. I was like, not the hair! Great, Dagger. Now let's work on your speech. Try to sound more casual, like me. I shall try. Nope. No, no. What would Vivi say? Just say, 
All righty. All righty. You're getting the hang of it. Well, let's go. I really want to put the uh, like anime lead character voice to him, but God, it's so not easy. So we came out, okay, we came out there. Whoa, hold up, oh, no, I want to go back to Ice Cavern. I do want to go to the other side of this gate, though. Huh? What do you want? I want to pass through. You gotta have a gate pass to pass through here. There's no work here right now. Try again when they need construction workers. I want to take a break. The shop girl at Vega won't be here for a while. I can wait. Then wait right there. I want to talk? Southgate is the border of Alexandria and Lindblom. We check every airship and person crossing the border. We're doing the best we can to keep the two nations safe. Have you ever been on an airship? Part-time worker, Mary. Hello, I'm Mary. I work at Vega, an item shop. Sorry to keep you waiting. How can I help you? I want to rest. It's a hundred guild to rest here. Yeah, why not? For some reason, Mary is Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> I want to shop. How many tents do I have? Four? I'll up that by two. Yeah, that'll work. All right, I'm out of here. Why, hello there! Oh, Mary! Part-time worker Mary! I don't know. Weird, weird fucking thing to call her part-time worker Mary. Ah, oh, shit, we got back attacked by the fucking pit vipers. Tunnel snakes rule. Steal. Attack. Attack. Stella Potion. We'll take it. VV just dances away. You gotta love it. This really scares me that Steiner didn't take that fucking python out. Still ore! Hell yeah! Don't even know what ore does. Right? It's like, hey, wait here so you can wait longer. Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, this is my steel. Still high potion. Oh shit, Garnett with the fucking kill! Steiner over here. Oh, Steiner's on back row. That's why it's doing such little damage now. That makes sense. Thunder, get out of here. It is really refreshing to see Vivi just sit there and hop back and forth while everybody else kind of stands there just in a ready stance. And he's just like, yep, yeah, I'm an eight-year-old little boy. That's cool. Hey, you learned Beast Killer. Look at you. And we got a goblin card out of that. Nice. Now let's figure out what ore does. It restores HP. It cannot be used in the field. It radiates a mysterious light. How mysterious is the light? Look at that airship over there. Sweet mother of pearl. It's just floating. Oh shit, giant spider, run! Uh, looks like Stein, oh, Vivi's first. 
Let's try a little fire on it. We're gonna defend. Attack. Steal. Yeah, seven damage. Still a potion, huh? What else does it keep on it? Oh, look, it's a spider using fire. That makes a lot of sense. Minus strike. Ah! Wish I remembered what that actually did. We're gonna have to look that up too. I believe it does the difference between your HP. Something like that, right? I can't remember. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Ability, Steiner. Damages with the difference between your max HP and current HP. Oh shit, so if you're like really about to die, that's, that's gold. Hell yeah, gotta keep that in mind. True, and those custards also used magic. It's a magical world. Hit that python. Yeah! The tech with the spider has. Hit that python. Fire on the spider. See what the spider's got. Spider's carrying. Or. Tent. Potion. Great. Oh, Vivi doing the dodge. What's up, Taz? Come here. If Garnett doesn't kill it, that is. Python! Stella Potion. <laughs> Python should be dead after Steiner hits it. Yep. Yeah, VV with a kill. Love it. Love seeing it. If you love seeing the black mage get a, a H or a physical attack kill. Doesn't happen often, people. I don't think there's anything in that crevice. Must sit up straight. Ah, another one? Come on, guys. Give me something cool to fight. Magic sword! Does he attack? Does he just thwack something with the staff instead of firing off an attack? Yes. Just like even though the white mage slash summoner uses the same thing with her rod. Web. Oh no. No, not web. Oh, he's been slowed down. Oh well. Couldn't steal anything again. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Whoop. People can see your ears. No items received. Yeah, of course. Yep, nothing in the crevice. Let's save, Koopo. Oh, hell yeah, staffs are dangerous. It's just that he has no actual physical strength, hardly, so he's just, like, barely able to do anything with it. And he's also an eight-year-old child, so, you know, it's, it's okay. Back attack. Hmm. 
Yeah, but he doesn't. That's the problem. He doesn't like use it as leverage. He just whacks people with it. That one might be alive still. Oh shit, they're all alive, huh? Not for long. Still a potion. I'm not making an eight-year-old fight against giant spiders. He's just the only other character I can use right now. I don't have anyone else. I mean, to be completely honest, Zidane and, and Dagger are both 16, and Steiner's 33. So think about that. She's almost at seven. We wanna get all the ability. Two things, why? What do you mean? Why what? Poof, just walking right in. Ah, oh, my coffee smells delicious. Didn't this model go on s oh sorry, wrong person. Did this model go on sale to commemorate the building of the fifth theater ship? I bought it at an auction in Trino. I have money to spend these days. What I really wanted was some rare coffee. My friend used to have one, but I bet he lost it in the incident. I'll give it to you if you get me some rare coffee. Really? I don't lie. Let's see. I want to try Berman, Kerman, and Mocha coffee. If you find all of them, bring them back to me. Okay then. Uh, he's the only option right now because I only have four characters in my party and I need, I don't get the next one until, who is the next one, Queena? No, Freya, yeah, Freya and Queena are the next ones. So yeah, I don't get two more, I don't get new characters for like another disc or so. What is that? What is that? It's a weather vane, you stupid mother. Jeez, Zidane, get your head out of your ass. Oh wait, what's this? High potion, I'd laugh if you found the rare coffee just sitting outside of his house. Save. Real quick, we're gonna try something. Yes, we're gonna overwrite. My 8,000 gil burning a hole in my pocket. Call me anytime, Koopo! Okay, old man, here we go. You ready? I have some time on my hands. Would you like to play a card game? <laughs> I'm telling you now, I'm not very good at it. This is true. They probably are capable of fighting giant spiders. What do we got to play with here? Mm, yes. 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 That one, and that one. Tetra Master. Let's do that. Oh no, you sick son of a bitch. My flan will take it out. Okay. Damn it. 
This game is quite silly. And not very well explained at all. I lost my lizard man, eh? Yeah, we'll play rematch. Basically, the way that these arrows work... ...is if arrows are pointing at a card... Okay, so you see, like, he's got that one arrow on that card. I can play diagonally above it, and if I have an arrow pointing at it, I take it. Or I can play next to it, and, we, and the two arrows point at each other, they battle, but if... I don't play an arrow pointing at it. He wins it, so... My best bet would be to play Flan there and take it. But then he's about to take Flan, so he got a combo and took everything. So now I would want to play... Play that guy. So I took everything back. And then he took that. So now we want to play... Goblin. I win, though. But he didn't play my Lizard Man, so I can only take... Oh, he did, but I'm taking that one instead. So the goal is to play him and try to take all of his damn cards without losing all yours. And although he says he's not that good, he's secretly the best guy. It is, uh, it's a really weird mix and it... Basically, the only way that you actually end up being really good at it is if you just start winning the best cards off people. So, like, the idea would be like, oh, yeah, let's take that. We'll take that. Take that Flan. Take that Lizard Man. We'll take this guy. I'll probably end up going first. Yep. And it's all about strategically playing, too, to try to block so people can't take your shit from you. So, like, I can play Lizard Man there, and I'm defended on all sides, but he just still took it. So I would want to combo, if I can, Really? I don't see how that happened, but okay. Let's try this. What? How? Somehow I came back and won that. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an odd fucking game. That's what we want off of him right there, is Zagnol. Hell no, I'm not playing a rematch. I took your Zagnol card. Now I'm gonna run out here and save. And then we'll come back in and try it again. To be honest, though, the game before this had an even weirder card game in it. That was much more advanced and like it was a you ha it was a they made it a point to play the game because you got like ability effects and shit and like special skills and special items from playing it so it'd be like lizard man that thing sagnal He went first. Okay. So I would want to say, let's play... Hmm. 
He's protecting his flan card. Oh, motherfucker. So I'd want to play that guy there. choices. We'll take that one. Alright. That'll work. We took two cards off, and we'll take it. Save one more time, just so we have all that. Da -da 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 -da. two more fights to try to level and then we'll go into town it's another giant spider Actually, I think we're just going to attack it this time and get it over with. Uh, yep, that's why I wanted to avoid it. Fuck. Well, that was a waste. No, because he can he's a black mage, so he can learn a bunch of different stuff. He learns ice eventually, lightning later. Flare. So he got hit enough times that he went into his trance, which gives him a more powerful magic casting ability. He can cast double spells. Which is great, except for if you don't use it in that fight, it's gone the next fight. Like I can't just hold on to it. So now I have to wait and wait and wait for it to come back. Oh, yeah, the spider probably was. Interesting. Whew. Stella Potion. It's okay, it happens a lot in this game. Usually your goal is to try to build it up to where one hit will set it off when you're in a boss fight, but no luck. Poor guy, he's all tuckered out. Dead on the floor. All right, before we go into town, we'll do one more save and then we'll move the story along. I can't remember what Vivi's weakness is, though. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's look at one more thing. She's got that done. He's got a little bit of ways to go for all those.
for him. Bronze bonus. Do I have different armor for him? Nope. Oh, hell yeah, he's got an iron sword. Let's do that. Yep, he got wasted at eight. He was drinking. Jesus, I wish people would stop blowing up my phone tonight. Oh, VV's first. Let's do that. And then... That. Nope, I didn't kill it. Eh, it's not a popularity thing. It's just mom sending a lot of text messages. Family group text. Oh shit, he criticaled me. There we go. Boo -do 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 -do. Yeah, everything's good. She's just down at the lake, proud of uh, the bodies at the floor. Nice. Uh, just proud of the fact that she get cleaned it up today. So she's texting Granny, who's in Arkansas, with her brother because he's not doing great, but he's doing better now. So they're all just going constantly talking about all the stuff that they're dealing with. And I'm just sitting here included in this going, thanks guys. Bye. I don't need to hear all of this. All right. Story time. Gee whiz, a windmill. Vivi, the inn is this way. Oh, do we have to? But I want to go see the windmill. I know. But let's get some rest first. We also need to decide what to do next. And they all just stare at each other like, um, okay. Did you see that? I sure did. Village of Dolly. Or Dali. Delhi. Sleeping on the job. Can keep her hell. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I know she's cute, but it's rude of you to stare. Oh, I wasn't looking at the young lady. I was just... The room is right over there. Make yourselves at home. Um, Zidane? Where will I be staying? In the same room... Where else? But Zidane, I mustn't... I understand how you feel, but... These country inns don't have private rooms. Get inside, everyone. At least everybody got their own bed, though. Tell me one thing before we go to sleep. Why did you want to leave the castle, Dagger? Castle Dagger! If the theater ship hadn't crashed, it would have arrived at the neighboring regency of Lindblom. You were going to leave Alexandria? I see. If you hadn't been caught, you would have reached Lind Lindblom by now. But now, we'll have to cross South Gate on foot. Border crossing, huh? Dane, please listen. There is a reason I must leave this kingdom. I cannot tell you why, but please. I understand. I'll get you to Lindblom somehow. I've heard enough. 
Princess, you cannot trust the words of a thief. He may expose you to even more danger like he did in Evil Forest. I beg of you, Princess, please return with me to the castle. I know I screwed up in Evil Forest. Bloop. But there's no doubt in my mind now. I'll protect Dagger with my life. I'm 16 years old. Don't be ridiculous. It is I who protect the princess now and forever. Then tell me, how do you intend to take her back to the castle? I, I will think of a way. Master Vivi? He was tired. But you had to go and go on a tirade. What? Let's go to sleep. Bing, 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 bing. What a beautiful voice. Who's singing? You'll never know. I've never heard a song like that before. Was that Dagger singing? Oh, everyone's up already. I wonder where they went. Vivi confused. Ouch! What's going on? Hey, you're... Are they avoiding me? Stealing from the hotel! Cause you just gotta. For your reading pleasure, how to save one million gil. Earn money the easy way. Making crazy money, volume two. These books suck. Hey man, you gotta read them first. Potion. Dagger tries. I wonder. I wonder if the castle is okay. That was quite a ruckus. Mother went too far. She didn't have to fire the ship, even if she did it to rescue me. I wonder how many people got hurt. I hope the damage wasn't too severe. Some people could have died, like an evil forest. You're in my way, kiddo. Kiddo? Oh, my apologies. I mean, I'm sorry. Kids these days. What are you doing? Can't you see what I'm doing? I'm killing the bugs on the crops. You're killing the bugs? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Bugs are just like monsters. They destroy our crops if you leave them be. Crops? There's one! Oh, an oglop. Oglops eat vegetables? You're a strange one. Most girls hate oglops. Is that so? It's just that I haven't seen too many of them. Wait, so Zane told me to try and blend in. Maybe I should act like I don't like Oglops. One, two, three. Ah! Tried a little too hard there. Give Gumo a letter. A letter from Moist? Hmm. I don't like Moist, but I'll read it anyway, Koopo. From Moist to Gumo. Yo, man. 
I got totally iced up by some dude with wings on his back. Stiltskin passed by me without doing anything. Is he rude or what? Of course, I couldn't say nothing because I was trapped inside the ice. He always sounds so gruff, but I'm glad to hear Stiltskin is traveling. I can't wait to hear from him. Do a save. Still out cold. Dally Inn's breakfast service. Delic a delicious breakfast for 20 gill. Cold water, fresh from the well. Fresh scrambled eggs. Vegetables, fresh from the farm. This is a sample menu. Ah, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, it's the cat. Okay. Cat's eye. Oh, it's you. What should I do? I don't want to give in to my brother, but everyone else is making money except me. Hey, wasn't that customer traveling with... I won't have to give in if I tell him about them. Dun dun dun. Useful information. Think before equipping your new weapon and armor. Check to see if you're about to learn a new ability. It's up to you whether you equip the new item right away or wait until you've learned the abilities, but if you're short on money, please remember that we also buy items. Do you play cards? My theory is that the first number written on the card represents the card's attack power. The third and fourth numbers are probably defense power. I still don't know what the second character means. Please press X to play a game with me. By Eve Subbard. Welcome. Bronze gloves. So silk shirt would be better. Silk burns easily. Clothes made of leather. Gloves made of bronze. Let's do this. Let's go to... Oh, shit. There we go. Let's see. Leather hat's teaching him nothing, but feather hat teaches him bright eyes and add status. Silk shirt. Not great for him. All right. So now we can go into abilities. I would say we take Beast Killer off and put Add Status and Bright Eyes on. Prevents Darkness. Add 
Combat status silence. Ah, oh, not bad. What's Mithril do? Adds Bandit. I'd take Bandit off, but it's going to be helpful. We'll deal with that in a second. Dagger tries harder. I must speak with this girl, learn how common folk speak. Welcome. Um, yes, can we talk for a bit? Talk? What should I say? I'm from the country. Um, Yatcha, can't you see I'm with the customer? But I just heard something awesome. Awesome? Can't you see I'm working? Um, please. I mean, don't mind me. Here's a chance to listen on some conversations. Thanks, lady! I was gonna say... Dun dun dun! We're gonna save. Spent a lot of gold there. But, there was a reason. Dagger. What's she looking at? Zidane! You got a fever or something? Your face is all red. It's nothing. I'm fine. You're acting strange. What? I get it. You changed the way you talk. You're doing great. Thanks. I did fine in the play, didn't I? Oh yeah, I thought... You were Ruby. I'm a big fan of Lord Avon's plays. I mean, I have, I mean, seen all of them. I want to be your canary is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah? Is Ruby the young lady with the strange accent? Uh, yeah. Should I talk more like her? What? No, no. She's really finicky about her speech. She's always, she always laughs at us whenever we try to mimic her. So you should just be yourself, Dagger. I understand. Alrighty. <laughs> we need to decide what to do from here. Will you go back to the inn? What about you? I'm going to look for Vivian Steiner. Alrighty, I'll catch you later. You sound like another regular village girl. Thanks, I had fun. And she bowed. She was a strange one. Yeah, I want to play a card game. I'll have to buy something from the store if I win. Uh, no. No, I won't. Give me your lizard man. Don't like that. one 
So we want that one. Yeah, we beat ya. We beat ya! So much saving. I think I can see inside. Look inside, you skeevy perv. Instead of I apologize, I, it's just I'm sorry. I appreciate, no, I should say thanks. This really looks big enough for an airship engine. Why would they need something like this on a farm? I wonder if he's one of them. He's definitely one of them. I'm the mayor of this village. Who are you? I'm busy. Please leave. Hmm. Okay. No, oh, go up to that one. It used to be a farm. Why do they destroy the farm to make those strange patterns? Kids these days. Mother trucker. I know there's a way to get... I saw him moving for the first time. You can't come inside! I need to check something, actually. Time is at 9.29. Yep, looks like he's got the full session. Cool. I don't have to worry about it. Menu, pickles, eight gill, vegetable stir fry, out of stock, pumpkin salad, out of stock, dried potatoes, four gill, kebabs, 10 gill, Lindblum pickles, eight gill, cash only, we sell medicine. Is that what that is? We're not open yet. Or do you need medicine? No, I don't need medicine. Can I ask you something? What are those strange patterns just outside the village? I'm sorry, I'm really busy right now. Do you want me to help? Was that some sort of trend? Trend? What are you talking about? There's already a man helping me. Ah, here's Vivi. Hey, Vivi, what's up? Zidane! N nothing, I was just thinking. Ah, I see. You met a girl! No, nothing like that. What? Don't tell me you don't like girls. I never really thought about stuff like that. I'm always thinking about girls. I'm popular with all the ladies in Lindblom. Come to me if you ever have any girl trouble, okay? Sure, thanks. Okay, then. We need to decide what to do. I asked Dagger to head back to the inn. Would you mind going back there, too? Sure, I'll head back. So, 
What were you staring at? Nothing. But I keep hearing a sound like... Quack! That's the sound chocobos make. I'll see you back at the inn. Okay. What are chocobos? Chocobo? Ah! Huh? I'll just let Steiner be and go back to the inn. Cat's eye too. Electric Boogaloo! <laughs> oh, the look on his face. He sent someone to pick it up right away. All I need to do now is keep quiet until the guests leave. Gotta pretend I'm asleep. Hehehe. <laughs> We don't have to work the farm because of them. I wonder if I can run and stuff. I love chocobos. Here, listen carefully. Did you hear that? I don't think we need a god. Oh, forget what I just said. Aries. Can't remember what Aries does. I think it's just a collection item. Can't get near that box while the windmill's turning. That's right, you gotta come back here. She's still there, so I gotta go back to the inn. Let's see. What's up? What do you mean, what's up? I'm still just uh, playing through story mode right now. You kind of disappeared there. What's going on? Did you fall asleep? Be honest. Hey, excuse me, I was just daydreaming. Your friend is waiting. Did you wait long? I asked Vivi to head back. He should be back soon. How do you like this village? Pretty different from the castle, I bet. Are you sure? I thought the everything okay was back when my mom was texting. Yes, the kids are very energetic and there are so many things to see. I've never walked around so freely before in my life, but... Where are all the adults? Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I used to see them tending the farm next to the village. But that farm is tiny. Yeah. There's something strange going on. We'll leave once Vivi gets back. But what about Steiner? 
I have a good plan for crossing Southgate. It's going to be easy. They're not looking for the rest of us, so we'll just hide you. Forget about Rusty. Leave everything to me. <laughs> Queen Bronze Steiner. Firewood stacking duties are complete. I await your command. It's my job to clean the bar. Why aren't you doing all this? S sorry. Well, now that you have time, would you introduce me to some adults? Like your father. My father won't be back until nightfall. All the other men are also working. They don't come here during the day. Pubs are supposed to be a prime source of information. Ahem. I need not ask an adult. Let me ask you a question. I need to know about what transportation method people use in this village. I cannot tell you the reason, but there is someone I must escort to the castle. Are you from Alexandria Castle? Indeed! I command the Queen's Knights of Pluto! I am Al... I am Adalbert Steiner, Captain of the Knights of Pluto. Knights of Pluto? Oh! Well, if you're from the castle, I guess it's okay to tell you. Please go to the observatory on top of a mountain on the outskirts of the village. An old man named Morid lives there. He takes care of the cargo ship. Cargo ship? So that piece of junk flies to this village? Thank you. Wait. Yes? Thank you for cleaning. Nay, it is I who should thank you for your assistance. I must make haste. As it turned out, I didn't, it didn't matter what we snuck into their mansion. But the kings were hiding something in their mansion. What's wrong? Am I boring you? Oh no, your story is very interesting, but I'm concerned about Vivi. Why isn't he back yet? You're right, he is late. I'm not worried about Steiner, but Vivi, I'm not so sure about. Let's go look for him. Hey, this must be Color Fortunes. I'm a big fat, it was a big fat in Lindblom a few years back. Tin Gill, huh? A good day filled with many of life's simple pleasures. A nice breeze will greet you as you step out. You will make new friends and replace a lost item with a new one. Be yourself and let good fortune come to you. Your lucky color for today is white. Have I heard of this store before? No. No, you have not. Hmm. All right, we're back to two. Did you see a little boy with a tall hat? A boy? I don't know what you're talking about. I wish those kids would leave me alone. Oh, doesn't sell anything. Wait a minute. 
Last time I saw Vivi, he was standing over there. The only boys I know are the ones running over there. Ah! Why did you stop, Zidane? I'm the mayor of this village. Who are you? Yeah, we've done this. Please leave. Still saying the same thing. Did I hear a chocobo? Vivi said he heard a chocobo here. Is someone crying? It's coming from that hole. Vivi? Zidane? Vivi, where are you? Are you underground? Can you move? They told me to stay here. Are you hurt? No. Don't worry, we'll get you out. We'll hurry, so stay where you are, okay? Okay. What's going on in this village? There's gotta be a way into the underground somewhere. Let's look for one. Okay. Seems like such a quiet village. Now, if I remember correctly... The observatory doesn't do anything. But I'm going to check just in case. That's nothing. So I do remember what's going on here. I think the mayor is still inside. Yeah, 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 of course he is. Isn't this obvious? There's a cool breeze. Go down. The Dane's going down, y'all. One hundred and fifty six gill. No random encounters down here? This isn't... Just a regular underground storage facility. What's going on? Shh! Why is it moving? Is it true that the mayor's brother found it? I guess they reconciled. His brother's one of us now. Wasn't he on the old lady's side before? Oh, about ban abandoning the farm? He probably only said that because he was fighting with the mayor. Who cares? We need more workers anyway. Hey, let's put this in a box. I guess the guys at the castle took care of it. The castle? Yep, we're only in charge of production. Gotcha. Pattern on this barrel. Come along now. 
Hurry up! Vivi! That best. Zane, wait. Ja hey! What is it? Did you see the large barrel next to the shed? I've seen that exact same pattern on some of the barrels at the castle. This place must have some kind of connection with Alexandria Castle. I must know what it is. So please, I beg of you, don't cause any trouble just yet. All right. But I will start trouble if Vivi is in danger. Agreed? Sure. All right, let's go. They went further inside. What do they use this barrel for anyways? It's kind of weird now that I think about it. So this is why I heard a chocobo up there. What's this? It's shaped like a coffin. I have a favor to ask, Koopo. I want you to deliver this letter to Mogkey. Okay. Thanks, Koopo. Let's save. Wheel looks rusted over. Kick. Received potion. Received ether. Ether. Well, all right, let's go get our little friend. Iron Helm. Was unnecessary, huh? Gonna get knocked out again. Who, me? Never. Why would I get knocked out in an underground tunnel? What the heck is that? Zidane? What is it? Someone's crying. Vivi? <laughs> yes, yes, they did. Zidane? It is you! I'll get you out. Why would they stuff you in a box? How could they? Uh, um... We'll talk later. Hold on! It's open! What happened? After you left, some men kidnapped me and brought me here. They told me to stay put. I was so scared, I didn't know what to do. They asked me, why were you outside? And then they said, the cargo ship isn't even here yet. I didn't know what they were talking about, so I didn't say anything. And then they said, well, let's put it in today's shipment. 
And they put you in that box? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Listen, Vivi. You gotta do something next time. You should try screaming back or whatever. Screaming? Yeah, like... Get off me, you scumbag! Scumbag? Like that! It surprises your attacker and empowers you. Huh, I see. I need to ask you a favor, Vivi. We want to check out what's ahead. I know you might not be thrilled with the idea, but... So, Dane, I want to know more, too. Look, what is that thing? All right, we'll all go together. Oh, just some slaving assholes. That's who has the death wish. It's empty. Ninety-five McGillicuddy. Is that an egg? Is this machine making eggs? This isn't a mist engine, but there's mist coming out of it. I'm fairly certain I have to go that way. Is this smoke? No. This, this is mist. Open. <gasps> ah, something's attacking us. It's ghosties. Ghost. Dull ore. Let's see what else these ghosts got. Man, they're just casting all kinds of magic. Some HP, that's for sure. Couldn't steal anything. Okay. Ghosts, ghosts have magic, yes. Everyone knows ghosts cast elemental magic. Well, they're not carrying anything. They're just little hands. See, they got little tiny hands. Oh, you mean ore. Gotcha. Well, because they have ghost pockets. They put the ore in their little hidden pockets. Got an echo screen. Miss monsters, huh? I guess I was supposed to go this way. No, I wasn't. Phoenix down. Potion. Phoenix Pinion. More mist monsters. Two moss ghost. Let's do that. Cure yourself. Ah, we killed them. They can't haunt us if we kill them. Again. We're ghost busters. 
Oh, he's stealing my HP now, eh? Jeez, you guys are just battering down on him. Finally you attack somebody else. Jeez Louise, guys. It might. Hey, hey! Cause Bustin makes me feel good! Wait, what? So many machines. What are they doing here? Looks like it's sending mist to the machine outside. What are those eggs made of? Mist. You just figured out the whole thing. Oh, you know what? VV needs... Silk shirt. Yeah. Actually, let's go back and do a quick save. Just to be... Just to be safe. Holy balls, I didn't realize how far I had to run back to get to a save point. Oh well. How is how is he just standing on the barrel if he's inside of it at one moment? Like there's no top on it, obviously. He just hops right out. Continuity error. Not that I actually care. All right, run back, take care of this next part. Do, do, do. Follow the eggs. A chocobo and Gishel greens. The chocobo's powering the conveyor belt. Why don't they just use a machine to do it? Because that would make too much sense. Here's another strange machine. It looks kind of like the mist engine on the theater ship. I can almost see inside. But I can't see anything. I just hear some noise. Are the eggs hatching? There's some more ghosts. Oh no, this is uh, something else. Goblin, I believe. No, what is this thing called? It's called a vice. If I remember correctly, they're actually quite deadly. Still echo screen. No, it's not a boss. No, okay, it wasn't that bad. 
I think later on they get bad. I think they have like an instant kill ability or something. Ah, what is this? They're... Some parts are different, but... They look like Vivi. But what is this? Are, are they dolls? Someone's coming. Vivi, dagger. Why is my mother behind this? This is the only way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Zidane? Ah! Sorry, but stay quiet. Oof. Hey, did you say something? Nope, not me. Okay, never mind. It's almost time to hurry it up, will ya? It's almost time to hurry it up, will ya? Okay. I hear ya. Whoa! It's a dang! Ah! Phoebe! They're loading them into boxes and then putting them in barrels. Why is Dagger's mom making VV dolls? That's part of the story. I can't spoil the story for you. Pardon me. I must escort a person out of high of high rank to the castle. When will the cargo ship arrive? Hmm, looks good. You're in my way. I'm busy. You're in my way. I'm busy. Hmm, what do they use this place for? I shall persevere. Nope, can't ruin the story. The smell of coffee relaxes me. How about a cup? Oh, thank you. I am not here to drink coffee. Tell me, when the cargo ship will arrive, or else the Alexandrian royal family will appropriate this property. And then what? I order you to tell me when the cargo ship will arrive. Tell me! You're not a very creative interrogator. I'm just trying to do what is right. Who decides right or wrong? You? Anyone can tell right from wrong. <laughs> Still as green as a pickle. When will the cargo ship arrive? It's already here. They should be loading it now. Why couldn't you tell me sooner? Thank you. Ah! It is indeed the cargo ship. The flying nose. Now I can take the princess back to the castle. Now I must think of a way to get her on the ship. What? There's something coming out of the ground. Why that angers him, I don't know. Never understood that. He gets so angry. I wonder what they're going to use them for. We've been making lots of them since they set up the factory six months ago. Who cares? This is a piece of cake compared to farming. Better money, too. Yeah, it is a weird ship. Hey, is that scary guy in armor running towards us? <laughs> ah, I just pictured Monty Python right here. Let's get out of here! This barrel 
What could be inside? What could they possibly be shipping out from this village? What the? Did I just see that barrel move? Let's see. I've seen this pattern somewhere before. Huh? It's moving. All right. Give it, oh, sorry. All right, give it another push. Ah, the barrel spoke. Ah. It does fly by sneezing. No, it's got propellers on it. You'll see. It flies here in a bit. Princess, what in the world is going on? You scoundrel, is this your doing? Steiner, please. Yes, your highness. Zidane, I don't know what to say to Vivi. I never knew anything suspicious was going on at the castle. We still don't know for sure. Let's stay by Vivi's side. This is not the time to panic. I must get the princess on board the cargo ship somehow. Then we can head back to Alexandria Castle. Yo, Rusty, do you know where this airship's going? Lindblom, yes, to, to Lindblom. That's convenient. Did you ask someone? The, the old man in the shack told me, so it must be true. You're acting strange. Something is coming this way! Princess Garnett, the queen is waiting for you at the castle. You were all sent by the castle? What? What are you talking about? You were all unconscious from the blizzard. He said he was a black waltz. Are you the one who defeated number one? I am black waltz number two. My power, magic, and speed make me far superior to number one. Resistance is futile. Come, princess, the queen awaits. No, I will not return to the castle. Come with me or you'll regret it. Wait, I, Steiner, shall escort the princess back to the castle. <laughs> you think I care? I won't let you stand in the way of my mission. And it's time to fight. To paint a vivid picture here, get it, vivid, Phoebe, ha ha. Mm. Uh, those are black mages, called black waltz. Princess, stay there while I kill the others. Vivi's a black mage. Steepled hat. Three hundred nineteen. Wow. Thirty-seven. <laughs> this is how you use fire. Do this or not. Couldn't steal anything, damn it. Potions himself, that's not what I wanted, but whatever, it'll work. My mission is to take back the princess! Yeah, Vivi gets beat up a lot in this game, but... It's okay because... In the end, he ends up being like the strongest fucking character. Uh, of course we went into trance. Damn it.
I waste a whole turn of it. Let's try to see if he can heal himself this time. And minus strike. If this doesn't take him out. Now he lightning bolted Zidane. Oh, well, that took him out. But why? Furry boy! Glowing pink. So. Real quick. To explain this, VV is what you call a black mage. And that's what they've classically looked like for a long time. The queen is building black mage dolls, basically, and going to make them into her magic army so that she can start overthrowing other kingdoms. In this game world, VV's technically the prototype. And the black waltzes are like more advanced versions. So there you go. That kind of explains it for you. Black waltz number two. Did my mother really send him to capture me? It can't be. There is no reason to trust the words of some bandit. He, is, he was just another criminal scheming to use the princess for some evil deed. Have I not been careful enough? Your noble upbringing cannot be disguised so easily. That's not true at all. You haven't been watching. Dagger's trying really hard. You're the one with the problem. Walking around, yelling princess everywhere. About the border crossing. Yes? Why don't we hitch a ride on this airship? Sure, Limblum should not be terribly far by airship. Uh, yeah, the whole premise is that is that Steiner is 100% a loyal, like, honor-bound fucking knight trying to prove himself, but like all great characters, they develop. I mean, won't be too far. <laughs> but why don't we get some rest before we go? Rest at the inn. Okay, let's head back to the village. Vivi, you'll be safe with me. I still can't get this damn... They made those patterns on the ground to mark the airship landing. Kids these days. Ah, this bitch will not get out of my way. Yeah, exactly. 100% stuck on lawful stupid. He gets, uh, he gets better like halfway through the game, I think. I guess I have to, let's leave it alone. I think the mayor's still inside. I guess I have to come back here later. Mithril Dagger, we're still doing. Feather Hat, Bright Eyes, Nad Status, we're still doing. Leather Wrist. Still working on Iron Sword. There we go. Bronze Gloves will be helpful. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, we're gonna put a leather wrist on him. And... Okay, she's already got a silk shirt on. Let's 
Does that mean... Oh shit, steepled hat is better for him. Yeah. I think that's everything right now. He's out cold. He's lawful stupid until the middle and then he gets better in the end. I can't, wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hmm? I thought they captured it already. Hey, I know she's cute, but it's rude of you to stare. <laughs> Stay calm. Oh, hell yeah, put a leather wrist on him. Sounds out weird out of context. Okay. Calm down, you freaky gimps. I don't think that's the magnet. Nope, read mail. Now the question is, the appropriate caveat. So we want to buy one more feather hat. One more silk shirt. Put a leather wrist on her. You like that? There you go. Silk shirt. I think he's good, right? Uh, yeah, iron sword needs to stay, rubber needs to stay. I've got an iron helm and a bit. Hopefully, bronze armor can stay. Yep. Yep. That's good. Mage's staff. Steepled hat. Leather wrist. Silk shirt. Rod. Feathered hat. Leather wrist, silk shirt, we're good. Hey Alaska, what's up? How have you been? Haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome in. Let's save Koopo! Now that we just bought a bunch of stuff, Awesome. Driving school gotten easier for you? You figured it out? You tearing up the open road now? Showing people what's what on the highways and byways? Going skirt skirt around all those other cars? Yeah, you got the driver's license. Nice. Let's board the airship. Wait here while I ask the people inside if we can hitch a ride. I shall go ask them. Oh, really? How come? 
It, it's not for your benefit. I'm only doing this for the princess. Steiner? He was so adamant about going back to the castle before. An airship full of barrels like the ones I saw at the castle. Steiner was against going. So, Dane, is this ship really headed for Lindblom? No. It'll probably take us straight to Alexandria Castle. But why? Didn't you just say we should get on the ship? Yeah, I know. Trust me. Um, Zidane? What is it, Vivi? Those dolls they were making underground. Did they... Do you think they looked like me? Yes. Maybe a little, but they're just dolls, Vivi. It's moving. What the heck is Steiner up to? All right, we have to get on, Dagger. On a ship that's not going to Lindblom? I don't have to have time to explain. This way! And Vivi just fucking walks. Hurry up! At you? You have nothing to worry about. Hurry before she takes off! But I'll take you to Lindblom, I promise. Fine, I'll get on. It's taking off! Ooh, soft. Yep. Yep, you just saw that. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. A game made in night came out in 1999. Had sexual harassment in it. 16-year-old boys grabbing 16-year-old girls' buttocks. And we take off on the sneeze ship. Come on, it's not like I did it on purpose. What is happening is we just jumped on an airship that's not going to the place we wanted to go. Please, enough. There's that royal tone in your voice again. Are you okay, Vivi? Feels like I'm going to get sucked into the sky. There's that foreshadowing again. Let's go inside, Vivi. Um. I trust you, Zidane. I get the feeling she doesn't quite trust me yet. Maybe she'll reward me with a kiss or two if I try hard enough. Wow, already? Zidane! What is it? Something's wrong? It's Vivi. Vivi? Uh, um... Wow, they're alive and they're moving around. Hello? So the mages built in the village bring back the new ones? Oh, Vivi. Vivi! Uh, um... Vivi? This is very hard to go back and forth like this. Are you able to talk to any of them? No. It's like... They don't even... see me at all. I tried. Again and again, but they won't even turn around. Vivi. I need to go upstairs for a little bit. I gotta turn the ship around before it reaches the castle. Keep an eye on Vivi, okay? It looks like a treasure chest, but it's actually a part of the ship. Uh-huh. Who's behind all of this? Right. <laughs> I 
<laughs> now we're in a flying nose, yes. Now what we're doing out of the game is we are voiceovering this game that has no voice acting in it. Trying to do every damn character on my own, and it's not easy. I'm king of the world! Okay. How could this happen? What am I to do? I never expected things to go so badly. I cannot believe the ship took off without the princess. What will I say to Queen Braun? What the heck were you doing? You almost took off without us. That is because the ship's crew... Huh? Uh... uh. <gasps> Why, you! Where's the princess? In the engine room. She's on the ship? All is well now. This ship is returning to the castle. You will be hanged for the kidnapping of a member of the royal family. Enjoy your freedom while you can. <laughs> I will not let you near the princess. That's fine. We don't need to go near the princess. We are not here for that. It's like he doesn't even see me. Because he doesn't. Shrink. At last, Queen Braun is sure to be pleased. However... The princess would have been left behind without the thieves' aid. I shall petition for a life sentence on his behalf. Yes, that would be the, the honorable thing. But that was because the crew wouldn't listen. I must run a background check on them. Ah, yes, it is my duty as a knight. W what the? The sneeze mobile! So you see, the ship's actually a ship. It's just the fans and the giant nose balloon. Hey, look who it is. What's wrong? Something stuck in your throat? Whoa, come on. You shook your ass at him? You insolent fool! Turn the ship. Ah! I will have your head for that. Uh, hey, I, I think we upset them. But they didn't respond to anything until now. You're the one who started this trouble. I apologize. Please wait while I take this fool into custody and turn the ship around. Look at that twerking. <laughs> What's wrong? Dun dun dun. No! Phoebe! Are you okay? So, number two was defeated by a small child. You are no match against my power. <laughs> Princess, stay there while I eliminate this child. Are you protecting him? Nonsense. You are no different from mindless dolls. What can you do? Get out of my way. You Do you dare to fight a black waltz? I said, get out of my way. Dun, dun, dun. A little heartfelt moment for you all. Small violin playing.
Look at that badass coat. What cruelty! Ah! Master Vivi, I shall assist you! Hey, you guys! Dagger! Yes? We'll take care of the Black Waltz. You steer the ship! Things are gonna get even more dangerous from here on. It's not too late to turn back. You can go back to the castle or cross South Gate into Lindblom. It's your choice! I'll be with you either way, but try not to crash the ship. I... 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 Hi, Poppy! I'll be fine! Be careful today! Why? Why would you do such a thing? Weren't they your friends? You fool! Do I look like some lowly black mage soldier? Even if they weren't your allies, what you did was reprehensible! <laughs> Worry not about them. Many more are being produced even now. What are you? Ah, the princess's bodyguards have gathered. How very convenient. Answer me! It wouldn't do you any good if I were an if it wouldn't do you any good if I answered, since you're all going to die. <laughs> This is really starting to tear up the throat. I will eliminate any who stand in my way. Here we go, it's fight time. Dun 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 Trance! Vivi's going Super Saiyan 2! Oh, I definitely will after this, trust me. Steal from the Black Waltz. Attack the Black Waltz. I want to say it's Blizzard and Fire that hurt him. Still Linen Curious. Curious. Curious? I don't know. B -b 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 Blizzard! 210. Two hundred and ten. Thundara. Yeah, this one gets a bit of a cheap asshole move. Set. Still silver gloves. We're gonna try a thunder on him and then a blizzard. I don't think thunder heals him, but let's see. Nope, 210. Eh, we can still do something. Let's just go with the attack. Oh no, he lost his Super Saiyan abilities. You're gonna blizzard his ass again. Stole steepled hat. Hey, right, there we go. He's done. Ish. Oh! How's the job hunt going, Alaska? You! You scum! I exist only to kill. Just how many Black Waltzes do we have to fight? This is becoming ridiculous. I think that was the last one. Caillou Rass or Queen Rass? Still looking. Nice. Okay. How do you know? Are you? He said Waltz, right? Don't you think number three would be the last one? Are there only three Waltzes? Was that is that like a joke that I was way too young to get until now? 
I can see South Gate. She's gonna go for it. Little grocery store. Working at the little grocery store. Selling celery and carrots and peas. They got dog food too. Uh, thorn is on. Did you see that? That I did see. Our enhanced black mages. Our black mages enhancements. All defeated. Betrayed us, Steiner did. It is all his fault. Okay, Waltz is done in a three count. That makes sense. Huh? Unstable the ship becomes. Don't let go of the steering wheel. No, three is coming back. True, is it? Hooray! But something is wrong. It's broken. Made its magic too powerful, we did. There's nothing we can do now. Depart, shall we? We shall depart. Run away! I exist only to kill. I exist only to kill. I exist only to kill. How do you feel about the grocery store? Do you see the south gate? Yes. South gate is a huge gate built exclusively for airships, but... Maneuvering through it could be tricky. Do you want me to do it, Dagger? I want to do it on my own. All right. We don't have to... We don't have clearance. They might close the gate on us. It should be okay, though. Security was totally lax when I came through here on the theater ship. It'll be fine, Captain Dagger. Roger. I still can't get a voice for her. I just cannot do a female voice, apparently. It's old, but the engine's got power. We must turn back. Princess, please turn the ship around. The Black Waltz is heading straight towards us on the airship. He might crash into us. Dagger, Rusty's right. It's headed straight for us. Punch it. Go through South Gate. Don't be ridiculous. What if the gate closes on us? There's no way we can outmaneuver him in this cargo ship. We'll slide in before the gate closes and shut him out. That's our only chance. Rusty, turn the power up to max with that lever over there. Dagger, stay on course no matter what. Okay. I know we can make it. No, it's the one of the hats of the other mages that was staying hanging on the side of the ship. Yay, we've got an airship for all of like two seconds. There it is, Lindblum. I think we pushed it a little too hard. 
That's what she said. Why so silent, people? We made it! Come on, cheer up! Southgate was badly damaged. It was my fault, wasn't it? Eh, a little. Don't worry about it. They'll fix it up in no time. You idiot. The cargo ship was wrecked. We lost all the cargo and Southgate was destroyed. Ah, makes sense. I can't believe I played a part in this debacle. Steiner. Yes, princess? I didn't mean to get you involved, but you saved us. I thank you. Such kind words. I am not worthy. Yes, the cargo of black mages. Well, now I've made up my mind. I vow to protect you, princess, until we return to the castle. How do you feel about that, Dagger? He'll follow you to the end of the world. It's okay, Zidane. Hey, I can see the main gate of Lindblom. That's Lindblom Castle? How gigantic! The city of Lindblom is inside the castle. I guess Dagger and I will go in our separate will go our separate ways once we reach Lindblom. I see. Just when we were beginning to get close. I, I, I think he's just mad about losing cargo in general. Zidane. Those, those black mages and I... Are we the same? Awkward. I don't understand, Master Vivi. Just what seems to be the problem? I don't know. Master Vivi, why would those mages be the same as you? And why would it matter if they were? Rusty's right. You're an individual, no matter what happens, Vivi. R right. Let's go out of the deck, Vivi. Why? You gotta see Lindbrum from above. It's the best. Look, the Falcon's Gate is right in front of us. Aw, we had a heartfelt moment from Steiner, ladies and gentlemen. The Hildegardi. Sounds like gibberish. So, that's kind of the thing. Vivi's not actually a human either. He's also a doll. Wow, this castle is huge. It's even bigger than Alexandria Castle. Yeah, they don't call it Lindblom Grand Castle for nothing. An indoor airship dock. This is truly amazing. Even Her Majesty's Red Rose would easily fit in here. Whoa, Steiner, calm down. Just because she's a big gal doesn't mean she's... Dagger, you don't look too impressed. Have you been here before? Yes, I came here a few times when I was a little. I haven't been here since my father passed away. Here comes the welcome com welcoming committee. That's a really old airship. Greetings, I'm Princess Garnett Till Alexandros. I humbly request an audience with Regent Sid. You must be kidding. No member of the royal family, let alone a princess, would ever ride in such a shabby airship. And look at the company you keep. How dare you accuse the princess of lying. The princess was forced to come here under extreme circumstances. 
Then show me some kind of proof of, proof of your royal heritage. Very well. This pendant. Is it a falcon claw? No. The shape is a little different. Call Minister Artanya. <laughs> good point, good point. If you weren't such a filthy looking oaf, they would have not been suspicious of us. Hey, I'm not the idiot with the loud voice and the dirty, rusty armor. What? Minister Otanya, what is going on? Sir, we have unknown visitors who wish to see the regent. And one of them is carrying a pendant that looks like a falcon claw. You are dismissed. I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. Uncle Artanya. It's good to see you, princess. Please, follow me. The regent is waiting. Mark. You're going to see the regent? Ah, you're so lucky. The last time I saw him was over a half a year ago when there was promoted to the office. He's a very busy man. I'm taking the day off. You look a bit tense. Why don't you relax a bit and listen to my story? Come on, you'll love it. This is your only chance to hear it. Okay, here it goes. When I was 27, What is this adventure about? Well, Zidane is a monkey boy who has, who is uh, enlisted to kidnap the princess with his theater troupe. When they went to do so, the they found out that the princess was trying to run away and escape the castle. While doing so, the night guard Steiner caught wind of this, chased her onto the theater ship while Vivi was attending the play that Zidane and his theater troupe were putting on. Somehow Vivi got, as an innocent bystander, got scooped up in the whole thing and also landed on the ship as it fled the city and crash landed in the evil forest. Now Zidane has basically said he'd get her Uh, sorry, it looks like Zidane, Zidane, bah. Zidane has promised to get her to Lindblom. Steiner has promised to protect her. And Vivi's just kind of tagging along. So, that's where we're at so far. Stealing shit because we can. Give Mogki a letter. It's a letter from Kamop. Koopa Koopa. Thank you very much, Koopa Koopa. Tiltskin visited me. Koopo! He said he found a place that seemed interesting, and then he left. I wish he'd stayed longer, Koopo. Where did he go anyway? Let me know when you find out, Koopo. Yep. Stiltskin. Stiltskin! Koopo! Koopo! I wonder if he's stopping in Lindblom. Stiltskin's everywhere, motherfucker. Stiltskin is everywhere. All right. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back.
saved. Yeah, we already did. There we go. Mm, order, status, what am I trying to do? Yes, we're going to quit game. Oh, because three hours of trying to voice multiple characters constantly back and forth is not easy. So we're going to take a bit of a break there. We're actually we're not. I'm, we're just, we're done with that game for the night. My cat says hi, everyone, and also that he would like to eat your fingers. What? Why is the cat trying to eat your fingers or anyone's fingers after all? Let's go. You know what? Spotify was a bad choice. Spotify was a bad choice. What we're going to do. Let's see here. Because cats are jerks. This is true. We're going to go over to YouTube and see if there's anything worth watching real fast. We're gonna watch a little little critical role. Do you want bigger tits this time around? Or they're really big. I mean every every man likes even a little bigger. I don't think that's necessary. Well, it's really <laughs> it's very he likes big he has a light stick. I don't know what you want then. Don't do it for anybody else. You know what? You're right. It'll hurt my back. I'll just mm -hmm. make them a little smaller. You might be more agile. If you know how little you want to be. Yeah. I mean, titties are just great, regardless. Yeah. For sure. All shapes and sizes of yeah. them. Yeah. Small ones, big ones, dangly ones. I'll They're mold your titties if you want me to be in charge You'll of that. You'll mold my titties? Well, I'm assuming we have to make, like, a clay version of the view you want to turn into. You I'm totally what? just Is making this shit that's up. No, that's not at all how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Case, then I absolutely want Bo to mold my titties and no one else because she has the most experience with them. Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's better. You can actually see his reaction constantly. <laughs> oh, oh, Maddie. Maddie, Maddie Mercer. God, Critical Role is filled with some great stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 Pottermore House test. Let's see what Brooke has put up. Mm, doesn't look like anything new. So there we go. What kind of clips we got out of Critical Role? Let's see. Oh, but please describe how you flip the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's got this. Oh, right this. Now, somehow magically, like, gone around. I have she's Alaska. Slowly, but I have been watching it. So as wet. far as she can. <laughs> but he's under, but he's tied already. He's that been hurt. Be <laughs> but she knows where his center of balance is. Yeah. Oh, and also, Hexblade's curse. I love this what is that even? I don't know. <laughs> 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 so, and then so she's gonna just jump and like the <clears> most <throat> serious face you have ever seen on opal she's just gonna jump like what is that 10 feet i don't know yeah. uh, and land spectacularly on her feet while the, our croc just flips over with a thunk and its legs go like this <laughs> poor bria Bria's dealt with such a cavalcade of nonsense in this new one-shot short campaign. 
But it has been freaking awesome to see them bring Robbie and Amy and Abria in because it has definitely created a different dynamic. It's awesome getting to see Matt play. Like that dude is just it's insane the silly shit that he has he has gone or done so far. Yeah, it is pure chaos. It is just a fun campaign. There's no point to this to this campaign whatsoever. But that's exactly what it should be, right? When you're going in between campaigns, you should just be having fun. So my less than an inch long hair, <laughs> yeah, my almost a crew cut now has seafoam colored hair. I think it's like a seafoam, like like it's like a minty mm -hmm. wave situation. How long is it now? An inch, right? An, an extra inch? inch? Yeah. Okay, so you froth. I mean, my we could always yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> correct. Th think like think like. 1998. Oh, yeah. Sugar Ray. For sure. Sugar oh, Ray. No. Am I the halfling Sugar Ray? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It's great. I don't think anyone has brought any mirrors, but trust us. Yeah. It's fantastic. It looks really but it's good. not quite right, so it's more like Narc McGrath. Like, you're just. Oh. Don't oh. <laughs> 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 be around Narc McGrath. <laughs> Narc McGrath. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen this. I have to see this real quick. And the, the, the wooden case just breaks in half. And as it does, you see what looks to be a small leather sling. Old school grog uh, chaos is just amazing. Kind of in land. I'll go get it. Pick it up. It's a little <laughs> pouch. It has a little little top that's buttoned sh shut. And it looks like there's there's something inside, almost like cards. Uh -oh. No. Cards. No. What are you gonna pull out? <laughs> well, I just want to open it. Okay, you open it and you can see inside what looks to be about about thirteen cards, like tarot looking cards. No, 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 no. The cards, yeah. No. Do they smell like anything? It's okay. Uh, they smell. They smell clean and fresh. Carry. How far away is the lava? Um, maybe from 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 where you are right now in this portion, I'd say twenty five feet. Who the hell you No, Travis! <laughs> what? what are you even doing? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you look in the distance and you see Grog just like rummaging through yeah. the loot and throwing it. What? what are you doing? Hey, well, that's I'm a real question. Answer. There's a giant rolled up carpet over here. You open a, a pack carpet? of cards, but, they uh, smell yeah, great. Some people call it a telepathy or whatever. <laughs> I go over to Grog. <laughs> oh my god, I'm with you, Alaska. I can't either. Uh, it's gonna be so great. It's like a bunch of cards. Can I see them? No, they're mine. I found them. Like you so have much. all of this stuff to choose from. Have at it. <laughs> yeah, I pull one card out, but I want to pull the one in the middle because I remember magicians being like, "Choose a card, any card." Oh, no. Travis, you could destroy the world. You could. You're just so excited. God. Do you know what this is? Yes. Laura, do you know? I know it's really. It can be really bad. Patrick, do you know what this is? Didn't they pull this out during one of the it, it one could of the be charity games? games? Yeah. Amazing and great, or it could be. I love it. Just I love it's feeling it. amazing and great. I right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so oh glad we got a short rest. Oh god. god. I'm so glad oh. we got a short Aren't rest. You okay. I'm so I would. Just there's there's one nothing one I'd rather be here for. <laughs> oh really? Just straight up. Alrighty. So that's unfortunate. Take them. I was Amazing. there for the end of critical role. I'm sweating harder than the dragon. <laughs> right to be now. honest, though, I'm not going to open it and just oh be like, God. close be, it. Be patient here for a second, folks, as I have to pull out the proper deck here so I know. Gotta no. <laughs> love that. So this is now currently pulling well, a card I from some know. sort of enchanted Haley deck. I think right, this so. one of these cards could end our game. I want you yeah. to just pull. <sighs> One of these could end our game. God, how great would that be to do? Just, you say you're just pulling one card, so you pull one card. What's really amazing is that only Travis. Travis is the only one. All right, what's it say? No, you, no, you, you show me what it is. I believe you. I'm very calming. Yeah, I believe you. All right, good to know. Good to know. Good to know you all died. It's a giant, beautiful Look at the book. Okay, hold on, I have to go back here for a second. Why are there more pages, Matt? You'll find out, you'll find oh, out. Yeah. Why would you give me that? Matt's got the same question. As you pull the card and look at it, the card <laughs> bursts into flames. Oh. And you Ooh, feel the slight nice touch. in the hand that held the card. 
suddenly you watch as there is a flash of light within your grasp and what looks to be something extending from where the card once was. You immediately feel something steal in your hand, and as you clutch your fingers instinctually around it to try and crush whatever it is, you look and watch as this beautiful looking uh, scimitar like blade is now in your grasp. Whoa. It's beautifully made, uh, an ornate uh, hilt and handguard, and it has like a, a chain dangling from the bottom of the pommel that has <gasps> looks, looks like a like a small blue gem. It's a beautiful looking piece of weaponry, and as you kind of whip it back and forth, it's perfectly balanced. Does it make any How noise like that? when I swing it? Uh, uh, a noise. card turned into a sword? We should pull the other cards Just to see what swords they'll you make. You can do that 12 more times! I'm apparently <laughs> the most powerful sorcerer that has ever lived. <laughs> what is a deck of weapon cards? A deck of weapon Well, I have to hit something with it. Yeah. We'll go hit something. Is there like a like a tall statue around or anything? I mean, there's the, you can see there are a few uh, marble busts and uh, things that have been collected from the the more oh, erudite. Er 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 yeah. Please don't decimate the antiquity. Can I pick it up? Okay. Okay. Love it. God, also uh, don't forget this is property of a mom. It just broke because you distracted me. <laughs> 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 oh God. <laughs> Gotta go find another bus. Is there another? Uh, there are a few. Yeah. Thank God, there's another. Uh, <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. But nobody cares what they look like. Cool. <laughs> Travis playing Grog was one of the greatest <laughs> fucking okay. things oh. I've ever watched because that shit is just hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's a strength or dex weapon. It's a strength weapon. Ah. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Um, roll damage on it. It's 16. 16? Okay. Um, and with your gauntlets, you have siege, which means you do double damage against objects and structures. Oh. Um, oh. So as you take the sword back, you strike the edge of this bust and watch it just turn to gravel and dust. It just shatters and explodes out the side with one singular swing, and you watch as the small chunks of rock that still somewhat resemble any sort of re you know sculptured structure go scattering across the black... Uh, you know, lava and, and, and magma encrusted, darkened floor of the cavern. Blade is untouched. It is really well balanced, that is. And I just hold it up to my ear. <laughs> <laughs> a, mo a moment passes. A second moment passes. We're good. Yeah. We're totally good. It's a cool weapon. It is, yeah. And I... I I stealthily try to pocket the other cards. What are you doing? But I, oh, I, I've got, doing? I haven't showered make, in a few days. And my make a juice. sleight of hand check, Grog. Shit, <laughs> 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 it's a natural one! You watch as Grog so discreetly takes the cards and just kind of throws them. <laughs> no, 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 they go, do. somehow throws them closer to you and in between him and you guys trying to hide them. They just go. I pick them up. Mm. Does anyone know what these are? Grog just made a sword out of one of these cards. Do we know what this is? They only activate under my magical touch. I'm going to look at I'm going to look at it and just see if I happen to know anything about it. Roll an arcana check. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I, I make that. I one. rolled a 12. Do I know anything about it? Mm. Mm, they're apparently magical. Twenty-three. Yeah. Twenty-three. Um, Chris, you Percy, a studious uh, child, and reading many things. You have heard rumors. You have heard myths. You have heard legends of of glory and woe based around an artifact referred to as the deck of many things. Start, that was I start one of these. to open it up and. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you look. Where did these make weapons? Though? They they, they, do, they can make, make a lot of things. <laughs> and they make bad things. They can make a lot of bad things. So Let's. And do you know what activates them? Just looking at a card. I, if I recall, it doesn't take much. Let's. I just, just shut the little case and stuff it in my. Let's. <laughs> let's keep it. Well, let, let, I was yeah, going to obviously. say let's put it somewhere. No one will ever find it, but that will be fine for now. Uh, <laughs> Max, may, may I? I 
Oh, I'll, I'll thank that. you. That's, That's mean. That's sweet. Someone will find it. <laughs> 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 I want to hold on to this moment. You want to find keep all the other gold. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't trust you with it. Making a request, if anything. <laughs> Why not? Because you do stupid things. Look what I made. You made a beautiful sword, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, it, I'm sure it's like reactive. It's user, and I have. Maybe a there's another heart. set in here. We should find it. And oh then you God. can have it. No, oh, if gee. you find another set, you can have it. <laughs> That's a bad deal too. <laughs> <laughs> For another deck of many things and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. For all the gold that is in this cavern, none of it has any luster. Oh. Or shine to you <laughs> as you are singularly focused on finding another seventh one strength on Vixali. I did not know that. Handfuls of platinum over your shoulder. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> <Not fish>. Filth. <laughs> Life has no luster to it anymore. <laughs> you wretched. So this, of course, led to. I would like to pull out the deck of many things. <gasps> oh, this yeah. instance. <laughs> <clears throat> so Grog, how do you want to slay? How many cards? How many cards do you want to pull? Five cards. Five cards. So. But keep it face down. Okay. We all want to play D and D. Here, you guys got to pick. All right. I get four. You get one. Okay. Oh yes. Keep track of the order. Oh. oh okay. Four. The first one might just. And this is the final. Yeah. The final one there. Okay. So Vex is the last one. Okay. We're never gonna get that far. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Grog, oh, yeah. first card, what'd you pull? <laughs> I'll consider it. I'm, ruin. <laughs> I've thought about it, but I'm not sure what I would run. End of game. And I need a few more players. The picture is a cliff exploding and a body flying off to his death. No, no. <laughs> That's literally what's about to So, Grog. Oh. Grog. Oh, no. Weirdly... <laughs> Not much happens to you that you notice in the moment. At all. What? Great. What? I, Great. Oh, I know what how ruin works. Ruin? Great. You mean that, like, our, your bag of holding's fucking empty now. <gasps> oh. And oh. all of our magical <laughs> items are gone. Oh, you're just poor. You're just, all of your personal wealth is gone. <laughs> 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 all your, 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 what about his weapons and all this shit, too? Magical items aren't affected. That's uh, not oh, magical. Oh, shit. Oh no, you're no boots. Less not too bad. You're no longer a grand poobah. <laughs> yeah, you're no longer a grand poobah. In this temporary alternate right, universe. Right. Um, so that probably was one of the better cards you could have pulled. What's the <laughs> second card, Grog? Rogue? Okay. What's the thing? It looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> An individual oh, no. standing in front of a deaf devil with five swords going through his torso. <laughs> okay, so. No discernible effect at the moment. What? What does that one do? Oh, oh I'm a rogue. It. Should you survive this battle, it's going to be really, really rough one day to go ahead and have Willahan stab you in your sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, turn somebody oh, against you? Turns on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rogue's a fun one. Because you, you can just wait it out. <laughs> and then, well, if I survive this and I'm like acid melted and laying there dying and he walks up with a little bar knife, I'll be like, do it. <laughs> just do it. All right. Third card. Oh. Star. Ooh, it looks good. It looks like a good one. Yeah, Which it seems to be the opposite of what's been happening, so maybe I'm fine. Yeah, I think stars. Your ability scores by two. Yeah. Hey! Um, uh, life, your health. life score. Health. <laughs> Kill dragon score. <laughs> Kill dragon <laughs> score. Intelligence. No, you're, you, can, you can increase your constitution by two. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, so you're hit points. <laughs> I'm not raising his intelligence by two. It's a fucking eight this entire does he campaign. Have 18 hit points now? Yes, he does. Really? No, oh, it's a yeah. six, oh, I think. Because I'm making him increase his modifier by one. Oh. oh. I'm coming. All right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Fourth card. Grim Reaper. Key. Key's not bad either, I don't think. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, this is a good one, too. All the doors. It looks good. Is this like this is the one that I thought you had pulled originally. A rare or rare magical item. Oh. Okay. Oh, you get a cool thing. 
So okay. we'll say, uh, oh no, and there's your card. Don't I hope I've cursed him. Please let me have cursed him. Well, of course you have. <laughs> I want the one that lets me succeed on my next. I'm gonna roll randomly for this real fast. Mm -hmm. Is that one? <laughs> this is amazing. It'll automatically succeed at something? Yep. Bring it, bitch. Hold on, where do I? This is amazing! Wow. I should have just picked like seven. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. High as you can count, you know, like past that. That's, true. That's how many fingers you have. Yeah. yeah. It's the highest number you really yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Everything is just more fives. I'll say. <laughs> just more fives. Krog just lives one, two, in two, intervals three, of four, five. five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, four five. five. A beautiful, beautiful black and like uh, ivory inlaid sword shows up. A great sword shows up in your hand. Uh, you have to tune to it, unfortunately. Right. I got thirty minutes to waste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here waste building. Thirty minutes. And so that's what's the next card? <gasps> the last next. one. Oh no, this is, looks good too. The knight. Oh, the knight's not bad. <laughs> no. Did you get a wish? No. Did you get something stupid? No. It's supposed to be an ally. Hold on. You can get a horse. Oh, please. Yeah, no, he's. Oh, oh please be what you're hoping it's going to be. No, no. He's a tower on a horse. Yeah. I think I get a. I think I get a. You a, look at the card here for a second. Horse and you're like, level like, huh, what does this do? And you hear a voice go, <clears throat> look to your side. And there is a gentleman with armor and weapon goes, So grog. Let me know. My life for strong jaw. Any health potions on you? <laughs> I. Oh goodness, sir! Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad. It's dire stakes. Kill the dragon. Dragon. Yeah, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Your courage mm. is most important at this dire hour. Okay, you control this character. You tell him whatever to do. Oh, good. So you have a fourth level fighter. <laughs> fourth level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, it's the same race as you, so he's actually a Goliath in full armor. Hey. Hi. Sweet! Hold on, come here, I need to draw some tattoos on you to make you look like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. righty. Awesome. <laughs> the streak continues with Grog. Right. Yeah. Okay, I have 18 hit points. Everybody's alive. That's my well, turn. Yeah. Can you move? Were any of those draw again cards? Nope. <laughs> yep, cool. Can you wow. move? Uh, oh, I can move, because I'm alive. <laughs> I, I live. At this moment, yeah, uh, I would like to go down the trap door. Okay. What about your friend? Go down to the yeah with the friend. Oh no, he's gonna stand up there. Ooh. Just double birds. <laughs> <laughs> double like birds. This, walks, and say he has to go like I am Grog <laughs> the, the whole time. <laughs> so you found the trap door once again. It's small in there. How far do you have to go? Uh, uh, the second level. Okay, so. You I did have my curiosity about the deck of many things. Oh, goodness. We're slowly working through this whole uh, thing. At some point along the way, Vex's warnings ringing in my ears. I found a nice drunk sap to... So, so as you are wandering down uh, an, an evening byway, the quad roads of Vasselheim, uh, a number of cups in yourself, you hiccup loudly and glance off to the side to find one uh, gentleman who's been far deeper in his cups and is currently like trying to study himself against the stone wall in an alleyway. Yep. Hey, you. Where are you? You, you look like a mighty warrior. Do you need another drink? No, you need to buy him, yeah. Yep, I do. I have one. And I pour him like a little poop from the cake. Mm. Hey, do you have like a wife, kids, attachments, anyone that would miss you? <laughs> if I did, I'd be drinking this hard. I'm gonna take that as a no. Cool. Hey, look, I don't know if you're interested, but I have in my possession something really cool. And I take out the deck. Do you know what? Do you know what this is? I have no idea. Great, great. We're like the street, right? Yeah, you're like near, near a thoroughfare, and there's a small alley off to the side. Good. Where Let's the follow me into this alley a little bit deeper. Just, <laughs> make, just follow me. Make over a persuasion check. Okay. With advantage because he's so really messed up. up. No, no, no. This is like abduction, how to not one on one. 
like <laughs> self-defense. I mean, he's either changing this guy's life for the better or murdering yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Lots of vandals with his tinting the wrong way around. Around. He, wa so he watches in the center of his pupils. A little sparkle of interest kicks in, yeah. and I mean, five percent soberer at the prospect of something fun that the stranger that gave him a drink. He goes, "What is it? What are you talking about?" Well, listen, I. I'm kind of like an evangelical spread of good news. <laughs> oh, no. And I found this, and one time I pulled a card out, and I got a magic weapon. It was amazing. And I just figured, like, you look like the guy that would appreciate such a weapon. So, right. now open the deck. I thought maybe you would like to, um, to, um, draw a card. He kind of takes a second. This is so messed uh, up. Let's see the deck. Is this some sort of a magic trick? Yes. Yep. Uh, all right. Do me right. Tell you what it is. Uh, sure. Yeah. Just <laughs> and, uh, and actually, just hold it and don't tell me what it is. Okay. Let me get my cards out. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. What? You have an actual <laughs> set? Could break the What's game? the actual fuck? You. It was a fucking right year. Did you not think this was going to happen? <laughs> 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 it oh. probably happened in the first week. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first week. Hey, guys. A lot of problems, a lot of drinking, a lot of fighting. Ran out of shit. This wasn't discussed. Right now. Oh, no. He's drawing the card. Yeah, but you could kill you. He could kill you too. Could it? I think so. I don't really I know think so. But I need another card. No, yeah, already. Maybe. Oh my god. Well, oh, my oh no, what did he pull? What did he pull? Well, no, no, no. No. Huh. I'm going to let somebody else pull this. Okay, oh, so it. Everybody. Raise your hand to pull from the deck. That's oh, some bullshit. Oh god. Alright. Oh no. Sorry, Tom. Ooh. 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 You know what that is? No, I don't remember. Okay. It's just a full time. It was a it was a face card. It was a, it was a face card. Buckle up. It was like it was like six feet. Buckle up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is it amazing? Did he get something really good? You're the deal. Hold on. Now. I have to roll a die first. <laughs> he takes the card and looks at it. Uh turns around and shows you, and it's this this tarot card of, of a beautiful moonscape. With like an open night sky, I believe is what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. He puts it back in the deck. And he's like, "All right, what's the trick?" I'm, oh, I'm feeling a little, a little strange. Oh no! Oh no! Um. <laughs> Could you describe to me how you feel right now? 26 strength? How the fuck did that happen? Wait a second. I wish that oh, I was a powerful lord God. of the quad roads. Be safe, Alaska. I'm about to qu calm it down for a night. I'm about to kill the stream after this. Ooh, what you eating? silks. The drunkenness fades from him ever so slightly, and now he looks. I'm about to eat something too. And you glance over at the far end of the uh, the alleyway, and there's a guy there who's dressed in long, long uh, tails and a coat. Goes, uh, sir, how long are you going to be? He goes, right with you. I don't even know what his name is. Mm. Oh, thank you so much, stranger. And he pats mm. you on the shoulder. Grog, 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 Strong Jaw, Grog, Strong Sing, Maker of Kings, Ray. Yep. I still got one more. <laughs> Maker of Kings. Off and runs off to the carriage. He got two wishes. One d three wishes. Oh, you're not serious. Wait, he got two wishes. <laughs> you just you gave away two wishes. <laughs> where, where was your name? Was the car. Did I get his name? Uh, you didn't get his name. Yeah, the quad <laughs> <right now. laughs> you know, the quad 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 once the card has been pulled, is it gone from the deck, or does it go no, back they go in? Back does in. Go back Some in. go back in front of the <laughs> Oh my god. I should just pull all of these. No. Oh, I mean, 
obviously it was just like a little appetizer the first one. Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. It's yes, way see. better. No. Oh, God. We're doomed. <laughs> and I'll put it back in the bag of holding. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, God, is he in trouble? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Two hour combat. I want to yeah. really bad, but I have an open bar tab. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Can I pull the card? Ah! Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> so proud of you. Wait, where are you? Just outside <coughs> the castle? Where he's going to die. Oh my god, a grog. Wait, as I'm walking back, do I see him at all? <laughs> Just out in front of the castle, like in the courtyard area. Make a perception check, Pike. Might be good. Roll a natural 20. I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> Fucking Travis Willingham played Grog so great. I'm sending you guys a picture. So yeah. As you're <laughs> as you're quietly climbing up the walkway to the base of of Castle Whitestone. Meaning that would be open. So. Yeah, um, you do. You look up and directly see Grog pull the card from the deck. <laughs> I just stand and watch for a moment. Oh, here's the deck. Oh my God! Yeah! This deck. is really happening. I I'm can't so proud. I fucking believe. End of cat. Travis pull guns. Travis pull guns. Oh, that one oh, that's amazing. Okay. Oh, Hold on. Oh, bring pixies on her head. So. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Deck of many things. Oh, God damn it. I'm so All right, proud. so, so Grog, what'd you pull? World ending thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> what time? Void. Oh, void. The void. <laughs> you gotta love it. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> That's like the worst one you could get. Is the crew's laughing. Why is the crew bad. laughing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure. That is so bad. Did you bad. Fuck everything up? You oh know. my god. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Pike saw him. Pike, Pike saw it. She did too. Pike. You get a reaction. Our internet? Pike. Wait, oh no. Our internet. Oh, no. Our internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. That's almost like the true void. <laughs> this is you <laughs> Well, here, Grog. Well, Grog. I'm gonna read you the card. Oh my I think god. I know this card. Oh. This black card spells disaster. Your soul is drawn from your body and contained in an object in a place of the DM's choice. One or more powerful beings guard the place. While your soul is trapped in this way, your body is incapacitated. Yep. A wish spell can't restore your soul, but the spell <clears> reveals <throat> the location of the object that holds it. You draw no more cards. So, Grog, what? as you draw the card from the deck, uh -huh. your vision just goes tunnel, dark, to a pinpoint. A singular pinpoint of deep ruby red. And that's all. Deep ruby red. Your consciousness falls into a catatonic state. Did she get a reaction or anything? Did she get shit? No. Did she doesn't get shit? She just watches it. She saw. It happen. She, she sees saw. it. With her 20, she saw. I know. Like She's she aware. She yell. She can't cast something. Uh, no, because he pulled the card. Like, it wasn't like, it's not something that you can, it's a big, uh, it's a. All right. Cool. <laughs> All righty. So. Hey. Come here. <laughs> I guess we'll add that to our to-do list. I'd like to think that in the next campaign we're gonna find you in a glass coffin like Sleeping Fucking Beauty. Dude, uh, yeah. Well, my body's still there. I can't there. believe. She rolled a 17, but so, I don't know what so she rolled. So Grog's body is still there, he's just. He's just catatonic until the souls return. She's catatonic. To be fair, you guys, you've sealed Vecna. At level 19 and 20, this is, this is not going to be an earth-shattering experience. Sure, it's just an annoying. And for the <laughs> sake of for the sake of the epilogue evening, you guys all planning to return 
to your various lives and relax. I'm like your catatonic with an open deck of cards in my hand like this. <laughs> and that spurs the one shot. He was the dumb and the dumb. May he rest in his bed sores for all eternity. You spend the next two weeks finding your way through the halls of pandemonium. Can you believe that shit? The halls of pandemonium. Wait, we spend two the weeks. The halls of pandemonium. Yes, where his soul is currently oh encapsulated. God, what is that? Asshole. In bed. <laughs> what is that? What is the halls of pandemonium? I should be uh, mourning uh, right now. Well, this is good. This I'm is haunting your stupid ass now. I'm giving you yeah. occupied. Yeah, give you no, something this to this do. I really did this if you for you. Sitting on your butt, pandemonium. You is a plane of madness, oh a great God. mass of rock riddled with tunnels carved by howling winds that is cold, noisy, and dark with no natural light. Wind quickly extinguishes non-magical open flames such as torches and campfires. It also makes conversation possible only by yelling, and even then only at a maximum distance of 10 feet. Most of the plane's inhabitants are creatures that are, were banished to the plane with no hope of escape, and many of them have been driven mad by the incessant winds or forced to take shelter in places where the winds die down until they sound like distant cries of torment. So yeah. That's a fun time. It's a fun adventure you guys go on to retrieve Grog's soul. All right. That's all I've got right now. I am calling it. Ending the stream. It is time to get some food, some sleep, and call it a night. So, everybody that came by, Bird of Hermes, It's a Pika, Alaska Potato, very much appreciate it. Big shout out to you all. Uh, we might pick up a stream tomorrow. We might not. We'll see. It's hard to say. Anyways, it's been fun. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye. Yes, I will drink some tea. I already, that's what that was, but that was cold tea. Still helps, though. All right. See you next time.